Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to consider register indirect mode of the KTNF microcontroller. This video tutorial is especially uh, is especially being made because of a question posted on our channel, and the question was how to write in consecutive memory locations in the KTNF microcontroller. Right. So we haven't discussed this topic yet in our channel. So uh, I thought let's make a uh, tutorial on this specific tutorial so to understand this tutorial we need to understand some registers which we haven't discussed yet on our channel for the kdnf microcontroller and those registers are fsr0 fsr1 fsr2 fsr register is a special register which is known as file select register right fsr is abbreviated uh, for file select register and this register is basically used to store the address of a file register location. And we know that the address of a file register, uh, the minimum address is basically 00, zero hex, and the maximum address is triple F hex, right? So uh, it is a 12 bit address. We need, we need a 12 bit register to hold this, uh, address right and we know that the kdnf microcontroller is a 16 is a 8 bit microcontroller so every register is of 8 bit so we don't have any 12 bit register so uh, what is the solution provided by the kdnf uh, manufacturer uh, they invented two 8 bit register which are basically what fsr 0 l and fsr 0 h let me correct the order fsr 0 h and FSR 0L. Basically, they are uh, they are 16 bits in total. If you see them, they are basically two 8-bit registers. So in total, these are 16-bit register, and they are used uh, for FSR 0 purpose. So FSR 0 is not a single register, rather it is a two register. Uh, so one is basically 8-bit, another is also 8-bit. So total 16-bit value can be stored. But we know that this FSR0 or FSR1 or FSR2 similarly. So these registers are used to hold the address of file register, which is of 12 bits. So that is why the four most significant bits of what of uh, FSR0 H, similarly FSR1 H, FSR2 H won't be used. They will always be equal to what zeros. So four most significant bits of FSR 0H, FSR 0, FSR 1H or FSR 2H will be zero always. So uh, this is the uh, phenomena by which we will be holding the address of a file register in a register which is called FSR. And why uh, every FSR register is also connected with another register which is called indirect file register. So this, this is also an indirect file a register is also an important register which is used only in register indirect mode right so how we will use it uh, i will be explaining it uh, in a while uh, but uh, there are three fsr registers so there will be three indirect file register fsr0 there will be an f indf0 for fsr1 there will be indf1 for fsr2 there will be indf2 so uh, these three registers are associated with each other, right? Let's say I want to store an information. Uh, uh, let me give you the scenario for which I have already written the code. Uh, let's say uh, there are four locations, which are basically, uh, sorry, five locations, which are addresses two, four hex. The next address is two, five hex. The next address is two, six hex. The next address is 27 hacks and the next one is 28 hacks. So these are what five, eight, uh, five locations and we will be storing consecutive four, uh, five EV numbers. So zero and then we will store one, then we will store two and then we will store three. Okay. And then fourth, uh, sorry, we are talking about even numbers. So it will be zero, two, four, and then it will be uh, six and then it will be eight. So this, these four numbers should be stored in four consecutive, five consecutive locations. And how we will be storing them be using register indirect mode. For this purpose, this code is written. So let's uh, understand this code.
the very first line is count equate zero zero. That means we are just equating zero zero hex location or zero zero hex data equal to count, right? So what we are doing move little to working five. Uh, that means five is stored in working register. Then what we are doing move working to file in the count. That means zero zero hex content or the count location will have equal to count of five. Why I am doing so? Because I want to store five different numbers, right? Then what I am doing. I'm just clearing my register, working register zero zero hex. So move little to working zero zero hex. That means working register will become equals to what zero. Then what I'm doing. This is a key instruction in uh, indirect register mode, right? What is LFSR? Just that means load file select register. But we have three different file registers zero, one, and two. So we are using zero. Uh, as a first operand, that means we are lo loading the value in uh, file select register zero, right? And what is the value? Two four hex. So that means file selector file select register after the execution of this instruction, FSR would become FSR zero uh, L. So, sorry, FSR zero value would be what? Two four hex, or you can say it is zero two four hex because we are talking about a uh, uh, address of a file register, right? Then what we are doing, uh, the next thing, next thing is basically uh, ABC. This is a, just a label for the moment, just ignore it. We will understand in a while. The next instruction, what we are writing, move working file, move the value of working register, which is zero, zero hacks, right? In uh, indirect file register zero. Indirect file register zero is associated with FSR zero, right? That means we are storing the value of working register in the location whose address is mentioned or pointed by FSR zero, which is two four hex. And we know that working register value is zero and two four hex will have equals to zero just due to this instruction. So this is the magic or the beauty of indirect file register uh, with the help of FSR re register. And then what we are doing, incrementing file, which file FSR zero L that means FSR zero L value, which is the two four hacks, right? This is least eight bit of FSR zero register. So this will be incremented. So FSR zero value will become equals to what? Two five after the execution of this instruction. And then what we are doing, adding a literal value zero two hacks in working register to update the next even number. So the working register value is two now and then decrement the count. Remember, we are going to store five numbers. So initially count was five and now we are making it equals to four. So then we are checking whether this count has become zero or not using the conditional statement VNZ. Since it is not zero, this will jump to the ABC label. So we will execute the instructions again from here. So move working file, indirect file register zero again. Uh, we will be moving the value of working register, which is two this time, to indirect uh, register, which is pointing to FSR zero, and FSR zero value is now two five. So two five will have a value of two five, and this process will continue. Th this process will continue for five times. That means uh, we will have four here, then six here, and then eight over here. So this is how you can write in consecutive memory locations. You can not only increment the address, you can also decrement it depending upon the logic you are using. So this is how you can write in consecutive memory locations. I hope I have answered that question which was posted on the uh, channel. Uh, still, if you have any confusion in register indirect mode or in this program, you can post your queries and comments in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.